Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the High Isle. I'm on my Speedy Gonzalez Stamina Sorcerer, but this time not with a classic 2H Sword and Board build. I used Bow Bow, front bar Savage Werewolf, which gives 1k, over 1k bleed damage every second for 4 seconds. And it has no cooldown. Pretty decent proxit. And back bar, what else? Rally Cry for extra crit resistance. Weapon and spell damage. And a ton of crit rate, which is kinda nice with this build. Since I don't use Malaka, I use Markun for extra resistance and extra weapon damage. And as monster set, Magma Incarnate. And as filler, one trainee. I'm on three heavy armor pieces. One light armor piece and three medium armor pieces. I got four well fitted pieces and only two impen pieces. We don't need a lot of impen with Redding Cry and one sturdy for blockers reduction. Full prismatic on the body, of course. Full infused jewelry with two weapon damage and one stamina recovery glyph. Front bar sharpened bow with the Poison Damage Enchant and back bar Defending Bow with the Berserker Glyph. Alternative you could go with the Escapist Poisons. Quick look on the skills, front bar Bound Armaments, then Haunting Curse and Crystal Weapon. They change Crystal Weapon in this patch. It empowers two Light Attacks, which means we use Crystal Weapon in combination with one skill. We don't want to spam crystal weapons, so it's more a semi-spammable. Then Streak, as a stun and for mobility, Camouflage Hunter for Major Savagery, the crit buff and Minor Berserk, and on top 3% extra weapon damage. Front bar Greater Storm Atronach or Overload, depends on your playstyle. For more single target pressure, go with Overload. For 1v X, I prefer to use the Greater Storm Atonarch, so I have the possibility to go line of sight, even open field. Back bar Venom Arrow, we definitely need it for the weapon damage bar for Major Brutality. Then Race Against Time for Minor Force, 10% extra crit damage, Snare Removable and 30% extra movement speed. Bigger as self here, Hurricane for Minor Expedition and our resistance buff. Dark Deal for Sustained Healing and Back Bar Just Slot the Werewolf Berserker Ultimate for the 15% extra stun region. A better option would be Temporal Guard, the Psychic Ultimate for Minor Protection. Race Orc for extra weapon spell damage, max health and stamina, and also reduce the cost of sprint by 12%, increase movement speed if you sprint by 10%. Alternative, of course, other. Races like Nord, Dunmore are fine too. Mundus the Warrior for extra weapon damage, Smoked Beer Hunch as Buffwood for extra Magicka, Stamina region and Max Health. If you prefer Sugar Skulls or Tricet Food, go with Sugar Skulls for more Max Stamina and Max Magicka, but I prefer the Recovery Food more. Attribute points, 20 points in Health and 44 points in Stamina. Potions. The Tricer Potions. CPs, nothing special. Daddy A, Mastered Arms, do the rebuff and Ironclad. Red CPs, Sustain by Suffering, Pain Refuge, Celebrity and Slippery. Quick talk about the combination or more the rotation. It's really important then to use Crystal Weapon in between every skill to empower both light attacks. It's not like before. It was spammable before, now it's more a semi-spammable because you want to empower both light attacks, right? So just an example, crystal weapon into curse, crystal weapon into bound armaments, crystal weapon into streak, that kind of stuff. You don't want to spam crystal weapon, otherwise you will lose the second empowered light attack bonus. Let me show you a powerful PvP combination, keep up bound armaments, hurricane, and race against time before you even start. Try to always apply Venom Arrow on the target first. Swap to your front bar and use Hunting Curse. Now you have 3 seconds until it explodes. Activate Overload to empower your light attacks into Crystal Weapon 
into Armament with in the best case 4 stacks into Sweek. And don't forget to light attack in between every skill. If the timing is correct, Curse will explode together with the 4 bound Armament daggers. Now enjoy some gameplay footage, thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace!
I'm gonna turn it up and then I'm gonna 